here on Healing Quest, we use the word scientific breakthrough very sparingly, especially with regard to natural medicine. But in the case of our next story, those words would seem to be perfectly accurate. That's right. The topic here is nitric oxide. Now that's probably something most of us haven't heard much about, but it's a molecule that turns out to be very important in very many ways. Nitric oxide is relatively new in the medical literature. Uh, it was discovered back in the late 70s, early 80s, and then a short time later in 1998, a Nobel Prize was awarded uh, for its discoveries uh, in the cardiovascular system. Nathan Bryan is a molecular researcher at the University of Texas Health Science Center in Houston. He says nitric oxide may be one of the most important molecules in our body. So it's a gas produced by the lining of the blood vessels. It causes our blood vessels to relax or dilate and expand. So it controls blood flow regulation. Blood pressure uh, affects platelet aggregation. So when blood begins to clot and you're at risk of a heart attack and stroke, nitric oxide is a key player in that pathway. But it's also involved in our immune system. It's how our white blood cells kill off rapidly dividing cancer cells, even pathogens, uh, bacteria, viruses. Uh, it's our, how our immune system combats disease. And then it also plays a major role in the uh, central nervous system. It's a neurotransmitter. And now there's a clear association between disruption of nitric oxide production and even onset and progression of Alzheimer's disease. So it's really one of the earliest indications for the onset and progression of a number of chronic diseases that plague America today. Maintaining healthy nitric oxide levels can pay big dividends, but measuring it is not easy. At the University of Texas, Dr. Bryan developed a simple test to check on nitric oxide levels, and then he developed a solid form of nitric oxide to help restore healthy levels. Dr. Stanley Jones is a distinguished orthopedic surgeon in Houston who struggled for years with high blood pressure. For some reason, I've had difficulty finding blood pressure medicines that I can tolerate. So anyway, I did a lozenge, I went home. My blood pressure previously that day had been 180 over 100. And, uh, and after about an hour, it was 140 over 80. <laughs> now the technology we've developed here at the University of Texas Medical School in Houston is utilizing natural product chemistry. So all natural, basically nature-derived uh, plant-based products that are designed to produce and regenerate nitric oxide in the human body. It's delivering anywhere from 15 to 20 parts per million nitric oxide gas. So that's absorbed in the oral cavity, distributed throughout the body. Great. Jonathan. How have you been? Nitric oxide helped Dr. Brendan Lee deal with Jonathan Oliphant's blood pressure crisis. He was fighting this blood pressure problem for over a decade, and um, he was seen by our kidney doctors, our um, cardiac doctors, uh, heart specialists, and none of the medications that we prescribed to treat the hypertension really worked effectively. A year and a half ago, Jonathan's mom contacted me telling me that, you know, he had this you know, severe elevation of blood pressure, which was not being controlled by any uh, uh, medication. And he ended up in the, in the hospital, in the ICU, trying to get his blood pressure down. And they said, well, we're, you know, we're just going to go ahead with this trying uh, the medication. And over a period of four or five days, we gave him um, initially what's called organic nitrates. So these have been around for a very long time. And amazingly, his blood pressure was controlled very rapidly within a period of a few days. In fact, it dropped even within a few hours, I think. Um, he, and, and uh, mirac miraculously almost, his uh, heart disease, where he had a, an enlarged heart, also normalized over a period of four to six months after that initial tre treatment. It's just amazing that, um, you know, s such a little... A little thing can make such a difference. Nathan Bryan says nitric oxide in solid form is not a magic pill. Maintaining healthy nitric oxide levels also requires regular exercise and a healthy diet. Dr. Bryan recommends foods like beets, nuts, brown rice, artichokes, spinach, root vegetables, eggs, fish, and poultry. He says maintaining nitric oxide levels is especially important after 40 when those levels start to decline because of the aging process. We encourage people to ask their physicians and healthcare practitioners about nitric oxide, what they can do to restore nitric oxide production. And I think then as more people start to utilize our strategies uh, through diet and lifestyle, as well as this dietary supplement, then we can start to see the benefits of nitric oxide and hopefully do what we're charged to do in academic medicine, and that's actually prevent the onset and progression of a number of chronic diseases. I think that 
there's real potential for, for this approach because this is a, uh, uh, provided as sort of a supplemental dose for, for maintaining good health. Um, so I think that if, if it works like in the general population as, as it does in, in, in Jonathan, then that would be a real positive and, and could have enormous impact. I've been taking nitric oxide six months and we've been using it here in the clinic for about three months. And I, I think it's, uh, it's the futuristic way to take care of people. We're going to have a lot healthier society because of people like Dr. Bryan and what he's come up with, with, with the discovery of a uh, solid form of uh, nitric oxide. It's important to note that nitric oxide should not be confused with nitrous oxide, which is a general anesthetic. So while nitrous oxide puts us to sleep, Nitric oxide helps wake us up by improving the blood flow. In fact, researchers are reporting improvements not only with blood pressure, but also things like memory, overall energy, and even better sexual functioning. That, I'm sure, is going to get a lot of attention. If you'd like to learn more about nitric oxide and Dr. Brian's work, we have the link for you at healingquest.tv.